All right, welcome to the webinar, you guys. I'm super excited to share with you this awesome webinar. I have Mike Stott, who's been in real estate for 30 plus years. Um, and it's such a really pleasure to have Mike because it's really literally a small, small world. Um, Mike actually and I were featured in the same book together. That's how we met. He actually uh, wrote a book called Manifest Change, totally non-real estate related. But come to find out, my husband's best friend also went to school with Mike in yeah. Idaho, where I'm from, from Oahu. So I've been in the industry for about 10 years on the marketing side, I connected with Mike. Yep. Hey, you know, we should really do a webinar together and I want you to teach all of my real estate friends how to do what you do. It's amazing. I've been doing this now for many, many years, probably uh, more, longer than I've been alive. Uh, sorry, sorry, I don't want to make you sound old, but um, I'm so excited to have you here and teach this masterclass. Thanks, Mike. Great. I really appreciate it. And, and you see, it's busy. She's in a... Uh, Crowded place, she's going to mute herself, and if you could um, mute the participants. And we're doing this a little bit differently this time. We're on Facebook Live, where most of the people are watching it, and we're sending the recording out to our, our various friends that are involved in real estate. But I want to start off by saying, you know, thank you all for being here. I want you to get a pencil and paper, a pad of paper. You're going to take some notes. You're going to get a you stay on until the end, you'll get a copy of the PDF, so you don't have to worry about the details, but you're going to want to pay attention. You're going to want to put your cell phone on mute. You're going to want to mute yourself. Um, if you have a question at any time, just feel free to chime in. We're a small enough group. I, I think we have about 25 or 30 people on the group. We're a small enough group that you're able to ask me a question live because I get really excited about this stuff, and I speak quickly, I speak loudly, and sometimes I don't finish my sentences. So if I do that and I'm confusing you, just let me know and we'll spend a little bit more time. Um, yes, uh, Stacey, I mentioned, I've been in real estate. I was licensed in 1980, uh, five days after I turned 18. I did graduate from high school that year. Um, and I did go to high school with Ray Hiranaka, who's Mr. Kennedy's um, one of his, I think, dearest friends in the whole world. And he married the much younger Stasia. <laughs> I mean, she's, I don't know if she's old enough to drink yet. So there's the old man comment getting you back. And it, it, we've, we've known about each other for three or four years now. And it's been, this is the first opportunity to share and play together. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. We're gonna spend about an hour together and hopefully you'll learn some sales techniques, not just with for sale by owners, but with you know everything that you can you know you can work with and make some money. A lot of us think that working with for sale by owners is mind numbing, cold calling. We were trained that way in the '90s. We were trained like we were life insurance salesmen or car salesmen, where our job was to spend three, four, five, six hours a day on the phone. There is, you know, we were, we were talked, if you don't want to talk on the phone, fine, go knock on doors for five, six hours a day. And if you got a lot of money, just do a lot of direct mail to people. And it created a lot of unbearable stress for us as agents. Now, I've been involved in coaching now since 2006. I'm an accredited coach by the International Coach Federation. Inman recognized me as one of the top 25 coaches. I know the last thing that any real estate agent wakes up with every day is a desire to not make any money. I mean, we all make up saying we want to contribute. We want to help people buy and sell, but gosh darn, how do we find them? And our business can be depressing because so many people come in thinking it's easier than it is and then they get back out. Back out. But what I've just, you know, my personal story is I sold a lot of real estate in Hawaii from 1980 uh, really 1983 when I graduated from college till 2006. And in fact, uh, my wife Donna and I from 1992 to 2006, we had a coach and we increased our business from $400,000 a year gross commission income to 2.6 million a year in gross commission income. Amazingly enough, I didn't work for sale by owners at that point in time. We had kids that had settled on the mainland, which is, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia now. 
and we knew that they weren't going to be able to live in Hawaii. Um, it, it's just too expensive. The house they grew up in just resold for $1.6 million. And I have great kids, but they're nurses, doctors, they work in real estate with me, um, they computer programmers. It's just, it's hard to, to live in Hawaii. The job opportunities are limited for bright young people and the pay scale is much less. So we packed up in 2006. I went to work for a large um, international real estate training company as a speaker and a coach. My wife was a coach also. And in 2009, the market had been crashing. The coach let you know 70 of his 88 coaches go. And for the first time in my life, I had lost my house to a short sale. I had invested in a bunch of properties. They were all gone. Um, I could give you the sob story, but I woke up in 2010 broke. I had three kids in college. I had gone through my, my retirement accounts. I had run up visas to six-figure visa debt and I needed to make money. Now, here's what's interesting. In the three years I had lived in Georgia since then, I knew nobody. I worked with a Boy Scouts troop, and I worked at our church. And my Boy Scout troop of about 90 families, there were 16 real estate agents. And in my church of about 600 families, there were over 80 real estate agents. So I couldn't get them, so I started working for sale by owners. And a lot of what you're going to see today came out of me desperately needing to make money. And I know some of you listening on this call desperately need to make money. So I know this works. What we'll be covering today are two email scripts that you can use today. And you can start getting appointments with for sale by owners using these email scripts. We're going to show you the seven step process to take a for sale by owner who's never heard of you before and turn it into multiple transaction sites. In fact, just today I was doing a follow up with the person I met on Tuesday and she was interviewing five agents. She said she's picked us. And the nice thing is, is we're going to list her house and they're going to be buying another house with that house sale. So it is a multiple transaction business. We're going to show you a lot of statistics. I'm a big fan of the numbers to help FISBOs realize the value that we or you as an agent can bring. And we're going to talk about some third party and celebrity endorsements to do the heavy lifting selling for you. And we're going to talk about an accountability plan that will guarantee you put this into action. I'm doing something I've never done before is I'm selling this course. And if you buy it today or over the next couple of days, I'm going to include what I call my FISBO intensive in the cost of this course. So that's really exciting. <clears throat> Stay on to the end. We'll send you a copy of the ultimate FISBO cheat sheet PDF of today's slides. We're going to give you that special offer. And, you know, just to be clear, how's that for a blatant bribe? Realize there's, there's a little bit of coaching right there. If you can say something with a smile that gets them to smile, it's a good sales technique. So are you willing to have a new thought about lead generation and FISBOs in spe specific? Is 40 to 50% of the for sale by owners will list even in this hot market. Now I realize that some of the coasts, California and Virginia and DC area, the market has slowed down, but the rest of the company, country is still going like gangbusters. And we're still seeing four to five out of 10 for sale by owners list with a real estate agent. And here's the thought, they just don't know when and they don't know why they should list with you. So what we're gonna spend the next 50 minutes or so is going over how you can do your job to stay in touch with them and let them know the value that you bring while they see some value in their conversations with you. So don't be like everyone else. I mean, I love this picture. Don't be dragging on the for sale by owner saying, please, please, please use me as an agent or, you know, be condescending and say, you can't sell on your own. We, we all know those scripts from Bold and from Mike Ferry and, and they're out there. You know, when do you plan on listing with the right agent for the job of getting your home sold? It's condescending. It's, it's implying that they can't do it on their own. So be different. Show the for sale by owner you respect them and offer them more service than anybody else. I mean, they see us muted, but you know, just think about this yourself. You guys, when you went out with somebody you were interested in on the first date or the second date, and you knew you were interested in them in a long-term relationship. So they see, let's just say if it was you and you were going out with, with Mr. Kennedy at the time, and on the first date he says, I want to marry you. 
That no would have been, hell no. <laughs> yeah, how long, how long did you have to, how many times did you have to ask him before he said yes? He actually um, sent me an email, but he asked, asked me on several dates before we actually, you know, actually yes. wasn't even really several. He asked me several times to meet me, meet him at different networking events. Right, which I'm going to tonight. I have a big networking event. So the for sale by owner is trying to protect themselves. They've told themselves, hey, I can sell the house and save, you know, three, four, five, six percent, whatever the listing side commission is. And so imagine it this way. Um, I'm married and I lose my job and my wife gets a promotion and we're moving from Atlanta to Dallas. And she says, honey, you can contribute to the family by selling the house ourselves. And let's say our house is worth $400,000. And I prep it, I get it ready, I, I post it on Zillow, I post it on Craigslist, I post it on Fisber, and it's all out there, you know, Wednesday night at, or Thursday night at 10. And on Friday morning, as she leaves for work, she says, you've done a great job. I know you can sell this house. Just don't talk to any real estate agents. And what happens? Eight, nine, 10, 20 real estate agents call that morning and they're all saying, when do you plan on interviewing the right agent for the job of selling your home? Or they lie. I may have a buyer. And then we call or we email to them and we want to be different. We want to start building that relationship and we're going to show you how. I mean, really, when we talk about it, it's awkward. And this is any sales situation is as you're trying to find the lead, you have to have that small talk and that awkwardness. And you have to have the initiative and courage to ask good questions that will get you into a meaningful dialogue and you're going to connect. So you might start with our first you know, email is, are you offering a commission if a real estate agent brings you a buyer? They say yes, no, or maybe, or I don't know. You get into the meaningful dialogue. You say, thanks for that. You know, I noticed you're out on Zillow. Here's some ways you could make it better so you can connect. And they begin to appreciate and accept what you're doing and then you bond and then they're gonna trust you. So over time, with a lot of follow-up, you're gonna find the lead, you're gonna attract them, you're gonna get into the conversation, you're gonna do what we call a preview appointment, you're going to follow through after the preview appointment. You're going to actually do a listing appointment. Then you're going to secure the listing and then you're going to leverage it. You're going to leverage it using Stacia's Facebook, you know, knowledge and, and brilliance. And you're going to get other sales through it. You're going to do just listed, just sold postcards, all those good things. So the question is, yeah, Mike, but you're a fast talker and you're a born salesperson. Let me tell you, nobody was more of an introvert in high school than I was. Okay, and my mother was the greatest salesperson I ever met, but she couldn't tell you how she did it. So it doesn't matter what I do, it matters what you can do. So throughout, I'm, throughout this presentation, I'm gonna give you some quotes or some testimonials from agents that have taken it. Dave Jackson says, so far this week, I've set two appointments and taken one listing. It's less direct, softer, and more effective than bold. Hmm. Jim Steele says, letting you know I got a $350,000 listing following the program and using the emails. This is awesome. And then Eleanor um, says, just want to let you know I finally started contacting Fizbo's this morning. I reached out to five of them, heard back from four. One has a major monkey mind, not going to list, not going to do it. One said she's going to list. I asked for the opportunity to interview for the job. One is getting listed by another agent next week but I'm still gonna preview it tomorrow, meeting her at 10.30. I have an appointment to walk through one of the properties tomorrow too. By the way, texting got the fastest response from all of them. Three ordinary great agents just like you getting results from it. Since last year, since 4-1, here's my FISBO production. These are the actual closings. One of them was a lease purchase and I have another 12,000 coming this summer from it, but it's 132,000 in listings from for sale by owners in the last 12 or 13 months. Does this work? Yes. Does it work for everybody? If you're willing to do the work. So why do I think it's time to polish up or learn how to work with for sale by owners is winter is coming. Everybody's all, you know, ready for the new game of Thrones, the final season coming. I have to admit, I sort of like it too, but even if it isn't coming, even in our market, even in Atlanta, which is the market I know best, where we have every discount broker in the history of the universe is here, 
four or five out of 10 for sale by owners are still listing. And not only that, of the five or six that are selling, excuse me, I need to turn off my phone. I didn't know it was on. Um, four or five out of 10, uh, uh, the other five or six, four or five of that five or six are getting offers from real estate agents. The market is cycling downward. We've been going up since 2011. We're seven to eight years in an upward moving cycle. And if it doesn't, it will by next year at this time. I've seen reports of, of Northern California, Southern California, Seattle, their market's off by 10 to 20%. They generally let us know what's gonna happen in the rest of the country. So the good news is, is that inventory is growing and it makes it harder to sell on your own. Let's face the fact, many real estate agents would never show up for sale by owner if there were other homes listed in their multiple listing services. I don't think they're doing the best service by doing that, but it's going to be harder for the for sale by owner to sell on their own. Interest rates were up, now they're back down, they'll go up again, making it harder for the for sale by owner to find the right buyer. And I know, and you're gonna get in just a couple of minutes, statistics that prove it's always better to use a great agent than to sell for sale by owner. So it's time, or really close to it, get really freaking great at working with this type of sellers. Okay, so here's some, some numbers for you. I held what I call the FISBO intensive, and that was where people who had taken the FISBO course, I offered them at $500, play with me for another three weeks, and we're gonna hold each other accountable, and you're gonna get a weekly call where I'm gonna answer any of your questions. I'll actually call some for sale by owners live for you, you know, people on the, on the call, and I had 20 people take advantage of it. And it was two different groups of 10. Well, actually one was a group of 11 and one was a group of nine. And they worked for 22 days. We kept track of the numbers for 22 days. That equals 360 work days, which is about a year and a half, everybody. We contacted 1,297 for sale by owners, which was three attempts a day, three emails a day, three texts a day, or three calls a day. We talked to 423 for sale by owners out of the 1,300. That's about one out of every three. I personally get a higher number than that, but these were the numbers from the 20 people that we were working with. We were able to go and visit 179 of them. Remember, half of the 423 were selling on their own real quickly. We were able to visit 179 of them. We went on 48 second appointments which is one out of every four that we visited, and they listed 32 of them. One out of every six they visited initially listed for over $8 million in volume. And I'd like you to chat in, if you would, if you would chat in, what does an additional 15 houses sold? Because if you did this and you worked 220 days and you did half of this, or you know, a little more than half of this, that would be 15 additional listings. How much money would you make? Okay, in my market, that would be 110 to $120,000. In some people's market, that's gonna be 150 to $250,000. Okay, it's a lot of money. I'm really serious. You know, I'm loud, I'm quick, I'm funny, I laugh a lot but I know that this will be the difference between some of you staying in real estate versus going out and getting a real job. And you know what? When you learn these techniques, you'll be able to list any home with less struggle and more confidence because of what you learned today and in the course. In fact, while you're taking the course, you'll have my 38 years of experience with over 3,200 homes sold and over 10,000 coaching calls accredited at your service in men, Name me one of the top 25 best real estate coaches in the business. And over 1,650 agents have taken this course and are taking listings every day. You can too. And I'm International Coach Federation accredited. I went through the Academy of Coaching Excellence. I'm a good coach. My wife Donna is a great coach. And you're going to learn and you're going to be able to get beyond whatever's limiting you if you take advantage of this offer today. So here's an email I received from um, Paula Diaz. I finally heard from our contract contact yesterday. We won't have the flexibility to sell on our own. We're gonna have to move earlier. I must hire a realtor this week and schedule an open house as soon as possible. 
Why? I don't know. She wanted to be in charge, so she wanted to know me. All my statistics, I responded, I went, I got the listing. How many, you know, she ran her first ad in December. She originally said she'd try on her own for three months and then list with the discount broker. In January, I got the listing, okay? So realize that for sale by owners, when they say no today, that doesn't mean no forever because things change. They think it's going to be easy and it isn't. In fact, one of my favorite questions, those of you taking notes, one of my favorite questions is, what's your plan B if your house doesn't sell? Ooh, they've never thought about that. And that's a great question to get them thinking and then say, I'd like to be your plan B. What we should do now is simply get together 15 minutes. I promise you no high pressure sales techniques. You'll just get to know me a little bit. I'll know the house a little bit. And if you get to that plan B, we'll have started the process already. Okay. So here's the email that we send initially, or you can text initially, or you can call initially. If I brought you a buyer, would you be willing to pay me a 3% commission? Now I'm not promising that I have a buyer. I'm just saying, if I brought you a buyer, would you be willing to pay me a commission, a 3% commission in my market? Wishing you success. Now in Atlanta, we have to put company, my license number and all that other sort of stuff, but it's a quick email, it's a quick text. I don't even have it saved in my text. Some of my other texts, I have the formats that I copy and pasted. It's so quick, it's easy for me to type it up. Hey, if a real estate agent brought you a buyer that was well qualified, would you be willing to pay them a commission? Great, period, that's it. The whole goal is to get them to respond to get you into that conversation. So the next question is, where do you find the for sale by owners? And what I've done in this for sale by owner course is I've put a bunch of videos together and a bunch of written things. And I have a 15 minute video on how to find for sale by owners to contact. It goes through Craigslist, which believe it or not is still a decent source. And it shows you how to go to the real estate for sale in your city and to do just the by owners and find the by owners. We also talk about how to use Zillow. Zillow just changed last week or the week before, making it even harder for a buyer to contact a for sale by owner directly. So we actually show you how to contact the for sale by owner in Zillow, how to get a short video to them, a, a video that I will say, hey, here's some ideas to make your Zillow ad better and you might wanna hire this agent who sent you this video because I'm, I'm not shy about asking for business for you, but you can find on Zillow a lot of ads. And what we're gonna teach you to do that is after you get into the initial conversation, so we're gonna teach you how to find a for sale by owners, we're gonna teach you how to get into the conversation, and then we're gonna teach you how to continue the conversation. And we actually have a whole email or text system. Send FISBO number one. If you receive the response, immediately send, Email number two, it's a long list of marketing ideas. If you don't get a response in two to four days, go ahead and send them FISBO number two anyways. If you've already gotten a response, you're going on an appointment. If they respond at all, close and to see the home. And on, you know, if no response, go to day seven and send FISBO number three, that's economic news. We have a whole list of over 28 for sale by owners or 28 for sale by owner texts or email that you can copy, that you can make yours, that you can make very powerful, you can make very personal and send to them and it covers you well beyond 30 days if you wanna do a 30 day email. Uh, um, I don't recommend drip campaigns, although some of people are setting them up as drip campaigns. It's just a matter of getting into a real conversation with the human being. So we recommend emailing the for sale by owner every three to four days for a 30 to 45 day cycle. You'll want to vary your email scripts and mix up your messages. Now what I've discovered this year is what Eleanor gave the testimonial is I've been texting as much as I email. So if I have an email address, I send an email. If I have a phone number, I send a text. If I have both, I send both. And I'm getting about twice the response rate through the text as I am through the email. Only disadvantage to text is many programs have a limitation on how many characters you can have. This sounds like a lot, but it becomes a very easy to manage system 
And in general, if you're, you're emailing three new FISBOs a day and you're following up with 15 FISBOs or three a day over the course of a week, it's easily done in under 30 minutes a day or less. And that's what I negotiate. That's what I spend. I budget my first hour of each day before I start coaching my clients, before I start doing any of the webinars or anything else, 7.45 to 8.45, I'm in the office contacting my 15 to 22 people that my database says I'm supposed to contact today. So I'm doing a lot more than just FISBOs. I have my past clients. I have a lot of other follow-up, but the FISBOs or the expireds take about a half an hour of that hour. So they're short and sweet. That's the reason why the emails or the texts work. They're not long, whiny diatribes. They just get right to the point. They convey a potential benefit or solution to the reader, and there's an expectation of a response. You always ask a question. So Rex Hunter says, you're the best. This is the greatest response rate I've ever experienced with any training program. And then Adam in um, Duncan, British Columbia, People often ask, does this work in Canada? Yes, we have many Canadian clients taking this course. I just got off the phone with a lovely lady and it looks like she may be listening with me. I just wanted to thank you guys over at Your Coaching Matters for helping my, build my real estate career. I'm doing a happy dance. I love the happy dance. This is my happy dance, okay? I do this because I love to see real estate agents succeed. And when you succeed, you're able to afford a coach. I mean, obviously I like to coach. I love to teach. I love to train. And you know, this is training, but coaching is what we're really good at. And we find that clients that have success with this are then able to hire us as coaches. So there's an ulterior motive towards us providing the courses we provide. So why is it so vital to get into the conversation Okay, we want to get into the conversation. We want you to meet face to face because we're all better salespeople face to face. We're able to convey things with our body language, with our tonality. Okay, I'm pretty good at teaching some tonality and how you're not threatening when you do it. So when I ask a question, I'll tell myself, palms up, I really want to know, is what goes through my head. And when you do that, so if I were to say, you know, Mike on the call, Mike. What's the real reason why you're selling the house? What's the most important thing? I really want to know. Because we know every year, the National Association of Realtors publishes the, the, that year's profile of home buyers and sellers. And every year for the last eight or nine years, the percentage of people that interview one agent and one agent only before they pick an agent, you know, before they pick who they work with has gone up and it's now at 75%. 75% of the people list with one agent. And where do they find that agent? Generally, it's a personal referral from somebody they like and trust or somebody they've already done business with. Now, if they were going for sale by owner, they generally don't have that personal other person. So you want to make sure you're the first one in there. Although we do hear fairly often for sale by owner, say, I have a friend in the business. And you need to go and show them when you meet why you might be a superior agent to that friend. But we use the for sale by owner's own belief that all agents are the same to work in our favor. Because once we show them that we are a little bit different, that we're not all the same, they're going to think you're a rock star. I literally have, when I call, like this morning I called, I think I talked to 13 out of 23 people. I had nine people say thank you for calling. When I have nine people and the other people I emailed, when I have nine people say thank you, I'm energized. I'm actually thrilled. I'm not tired at the end of the prospecting system. So here's some other numbers. 89% of all the sales are made with a real estate agent listing the home. In America, I'm going to ask you, when was the last time you all used a travel agent? In the 80s and 90s, I lived and I had to have my travel agent because they saved me money, they added real value. With the internet, they don't add value anymore or as much value. All banks, banks are in the business of making money and managing money and they list all their REOs and short sales with a real estate agent. Banks, which are in the business of managing money, see the value that real estate agents bring and pay us and pay us the full 3% commission. Now here's what's really interesting 
is the number of people that went for sale by owner in 2018 were only 7%. And I know this study is not perfect and that these numbers have gone up and the number for sale by owners have gone down because of the discount brokers and we can talk about that. But when you're talking to a for sale by owner and you say, look, nine out of 10 Americans, when they sell a house, happily pay a real estate agent and only 7% go for sale by owner, do you think we might add value? Especially when the banks add value. And then we show you, you know, how to continue the conversation. And then when you meet with them face to face, we give you two PowerPoint templates. Now you don't have to use them, but it's useful to watch them so you can see how to get into a conversation with them on the preview appointment. And then when you're invited back for the actual listing appointment. See, we show you how to use documents like this. I've been keeping track since 2006 of the National Association of Realtors Profile of Home Buyers and Sellers that shows year after year that for sale by owners on average sell for less than homes that are listed with a real estate agent. Now, I don't believe that listing with us magically makes the home worth 22% more. I do know that people with money are more likely to hire a real estate agent and a large percentage of the for sale by owners um, that are mobile homes, you know, are mobile homes or they are the lower price properties. As you go up in value, you see fewer and fewer for sale by owners, okay? Here's an interesting statistic. Fizbos who tried to sell on their own then gave up and listed with the real estate agent sold for an average of 13% more than this $200,000 figure that for sale by owners have. So consider this, more expensive homes are less likely to go FISBO. People with money and the banks know that listing with a real estate agent adds values. Only 3% of all sales are by owner to a buyer not known previously. See that previous statistic of 7% includes all the divorce cases, all the inheritance cases all the people that the neighbor says, if you ever want to sell, I'd like to buy your house. Okay. That three and a half to 4% of the 7%, the seller already knew the buyer, they never put it on the market. So that 7% actually goes down to 3% of all the sales. There's worry, there's expense, and there's time involved. If you're listening to this, you know that 60% of our work begins when we get an offer on a listing. And the for sale by owner thinks that's all we do is find a buyer for the property. Okay. And 91% of all sellers sell using an agent in America, in our economy, if we don't add value, you go away. Now collateral analytics um, is a great uh, economics firm and they found, they did a report and they said, assuming that both buyers and sellers pay the commission, what a, one might have expected something less than this average, that 5%, it, sell, it appears that many sellers are avoiding commissions while netting home prices less than they would an agent represented MLS sell. They're avoiding commissions at any price, even one that exceeds the commission rate. Hmm, perhaps buyers do make low ball offers to physical sellers deducting the entire commission, not just the seller's portion in their offers. That would explain the results here, which it says, Using three different sorts of the data and methodologies, we find that the differential in selling prices for FISBOs when compared to MLS sales is remarkably close to the average commission rates. Here we find an average difference of about 5.5% lower prices achieved for FISBO sales compared to MLS sales for similar properties. Best report I've ever seen. You guys, you know, got this. You can look it up. If you, if you don't take the course, we have it there. Dave Ramsey, noted cheapskate. I won't read the whole letter in the interest of time, but he says they, between basic pricing mistakes, pricing errors, and lack of negotiation skills, you cost yourself more than the agent's commission by trying to sell it yourself. So you can take the course to get this letter and you can search Dave Ramsey for sale by owner and you'll find it on the internet. If there was ever anybody in the history of the universe that was gonna sell for sale by owner, it would be Colby Sombrato who started for sale by owner.com. He had a one, a, a, excuse me, a 2.5 or 2.05 million house for sale in New York City, couldn't sell it for six months, gave up, listed it with an agent who raised the price and got it sold and then paid the standard 6% commission. 
I mean, if I was his friend, I would be teasing him every time I saw it, especially if I was his friend in real estate for sale by owner.com founder uses a real estate broker. Wow. And then um, USA Today uh, says for sale by owner can be a hard sale. Agents often work their weight and commission. We didn't know what we were doing. We thought it would be easier. I'd go through a broker again. Not a question. After she took over, it was such a relief. Can you see how you're kind, you're contributing, you're making their ad better, you're getting into the conversation, you're sending them some of these pieces. Can you see how that might create some interest on their part about what you're doing? Know this also, our good friend Steve Harney over at Keeping Current Matters. If you don't subscribe to this, you should. It's relatively cheap. He gives you great graphics. He says the percentage of home selling as a FISBO has decreased from 19% to 9% through 2012 in the last 28 years. Now it's down to 7%. With the internet out there from 1991 till today and all the knowledge and all the discount brokers and all the ways people can now advertise, not on the MLS, why has the percentage of for sale by owners dropped so much? And then he shows the typical sales price. And then Home Gain did a big survey. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but they said you're twice as likely to sell their homes using a realtor as going through for sale by owner. Now this report was done in 2012, which was just at the tail end of our, our real estate crash. And even then, this is the lowest number I've ever seen. 22% of for sale by owners eventually decided to enlist the aid of a realtor to help sell their home. I'm seeing double that number, double to triple that number, but the report's old. But even if it was one out of five and that was your experience, you could plan on that. So obviously I'm excited. I think every agent should be working for sale by owners, but I'm happy that most don't because it makes my job easier when I go out to make some money. So here's what you're gonna get. First, you're gonna get my guarantee, 100% money back guarantee that if you don't like the course, you don't think it's working for you, you can't find for sale by owners, 30 day unconditional money back guarantee. Now I might ask you how I can make the course better because I'm constantly upgrading the course, constantly adding materials to it. But I stand behind it 100%. You email me, you say I want my money back, we'll give you your money back, okay? But it's 30 days. So we have the course, it's called fizbocourse.com. I know it's a brilliant name, I actually hired marketers to come up with a name and I ended up with the name that I would have started with. It's divided into six sessions. Um, it's actually got a seventh section now, new getting started, the email series, what to say on the presentation, the scripts, um, a million dollar mindset and how to handle any objection that they might have. And so it's a step by step and click by click training module. There's a lot of videos, there's a lot of, there's over 2,000 pages of PowerPoints and Word documents and Excel spreadsheets. It's all there for you, but it's done step by step. How do you get started? Because I don't want you to be overwhelmed. Then it's the exact process that over 1,650 agents who list and sell for sale by owners every day. They go to it, they refer to it constantly to see what's new. It's laid out for you. It's an easy to follow model. Okay, hmm, Yoda will say, hmm, success you will have. Success have you will, I guess would be the better way for him to say it. What does Fred Davis say? Your system works like a champ. I sent out eight emails, I received four replies and have two appointments. Much easier than what I usually do by either cold calling or knocking on their door. So when you buy this course, there's a one-time charge. It's not a monthly fee, we don't charge $39 a month or anything like that and you get unlimited lifetime access to FISBOcourse.com and all, all upgrades and updates. I first started this in 2011, so it's had seven years of improvements and additions to it. It's really good now. The latest edition was a bunch of video texts um, that, or a bunch of videos that you can send in text or email to show people exactly how you can benefit by working with them. We have all sorts of resource materials, six reasons why, these are all Word documents, there's a, um, some PDFs, 
There's some Excel spreadsheets. If you don't have a database, we have a lead tracker for you. We have a calendar for you. We have a rent versus buy analysis. I mean, just tons of pages. Oops, I went through. That's all included. And I'm gonna show you, I'll, I'll walk through it a little bit with you. You get unlimited and exclusive support. You can get expert help with any question you may have fast. We're on call. I have two assistants in my office, normal working hours, East Coast time, you can get an answer. We also have a Facebook page that you can use. So here's an example of the, the pre-listing presentation. It's three, these are three pages in the PowerPoint document. So you've gone through the house and you've, you've seen the house and the for sale by owner knows the sales pitch is coming. So they're holding the front door open. They've got their other hand behind you, sort of like they're trying to shoot a fly out the door. And I want you to turn around like Columbo if you're old enough. Um, Stacia, this is like Scooby-Doo. Columbo was a detective. Um, <laughs> okay. So, and you turn around and say, there's just one thing. What's the biggest advantage to you in selling on your own? And they're going to be honest and they're going to say saving the commission or it's a lot of money. And you say, I agree with you, 100% it is. But what's the biggest advantage a buyer would have in buying directly from you? Uh, well, you know, they, they come through it. They're going to say, well, maybe they could save some of the commission and I could save some of the commission. Yeah, great. Except for most of the buyers are going to have a real estate agent. And is there any possible disadvantage to you in trying to continue to sell on your own? And they go, ah. Uh, they look like a deer in the headlight because they've never thought it. And you just go into this question. Who has the advantage in negotiating? You with one home to sell or a buyer with 10 to 20 choices or more and the money and a real estate agent. And then you've turned up the pressure and the rest of this is much lighter, but you've let them know that you're a good salesperson. See, one of the biggest disadvantages I see is people that are working with for sale by owners get in and then they never show the for sale by owner that they're a good salesperson. This pre-listing PowerPoint or conversation shows the seller that you are a good salesperson. In fact, the lady who hired, you know, who hired us today to sell her house for 575 actually said, huh, you're annoying. You work so hard. And then she laughs. I know that that's what I want in a salesperson is somebody who doesn't give up and you didn't give up on me. Okay. But I was always, I said, I prefer to be pleasant. And she says, Oh, you were always pleasant. You always made me think, which is exactly what I want. And then, you know, when you go back to the second appointment, we have a highly, you know, polished PowerPoint presentation. I mean, granted this was built in 2011 and 12 and nowadays PowerPoint doesn't have the same pizzazz. But for those as you're learning it, it's useful to have it as a crutch. I far prefer to just get into a conversation with people and you'll eventually memorize the presentation so that you can get into good conversations with people. You'll also get the FISBO diaries. And this is a sample you know, of 70 pages of emails back and forth with every conversation that you could possibly get into and you'll be able to respond with it without calling me up. You'll have it right there for you. And you know, it's in a Word document that you can copy and paste. We're also gonna give you the exclusive ownership rights for the FISBO handbook. This is about a 60 page book that I wrote and that you can have. It's in a Word document. You have to customize it. I mean, I have Atlanta in there. I have my name on it, but it's Word document. You can change it. You can make it your own and you can, take things out, you can add things to it, but you're able to print this up or give a PDF to for sale by owners that differentiates you in the eye of the for sale by owner because there is not another agent in your marketplace. And if there is, there's only one other agent that has a book that shows a for sale by owner how to sell on their own that isn't a commercial for just listing with them. This is what I would do to sell my house on my own. Okay, and it shows that I'm looking to serve and be a contribution. And if they're not able to sell on their own and they decide to work with an agent, they might wanna give me a call. Now there is another for sale by owner program out there that charges $9.95 to do this, $995 plus the per book cost. 
I figure you can print it up yourself. Most of you are just going to send it in a PDF so it has zero cost, and you're going to adapt it and make it your own. Okay. So we also have a private online mastermind group. It's Facebook, it's a closed group. You're able to ask a question. And I thought I'd show you a couple of things because I'm going so fast. If we go to Facebook, once you're a member and you join, there's zero resistance. Um, Fizbo's and expired. And people get on it all the time. There's two posts that I haven't read. Um, here's inviting, inviting this. And, you know, so here's Deneen says, I met with a Fizbo yesterday. She had been in contact with her. She actually had me meet with her husband while she was out with her kids. And she said that they were doing on a Fizbo site. And she had one, two, three, four, five comments on it from people that were in the group. So they, they can get this. Deneen's a freaking contributor, but you can see lots of different people contribute to the Facebook group. You get them to have that included. The FISBOcourse.com site is, you know, it pops right up and you log in. Um, who I don't know who logged me in, but we'll see if that logs in. So here's the newest FISBO videos and docs. Um, we have a bunch of downloads. These are all texts and things that you could do. But the thing that the people are getting most excited about is um, texting now. And what I discovered is in texting, people are no longer, um, let's see if I have it in the tools here. We have all active marketing plans, all the different support materials, how to handle the di different objection handlers. But I actually did a series of videos for you and these are Zillow links. And so imagine in Zillow, we show you how to get a video link in and you won't understand how hard that is to do because Zillow, if you do it in the comments, scrubs anything that has a www or .com, but we show you how to do that. And I'll just show you this little video for a second. Stock here. I'm one of Inman's top 25 real estate coaches in the business. And my client asked me to do this short video on how to make your Zillow ad more effective so that you could actually increase your odds of your home selling on your own. You know, congratulations for trying. We're certainly finding that four to five out of 10 in our marketplace are selling on their own. So good luck. If you don't sell on your own, then we'd really like you to consider us for helping get your home sold. So typical Zillow ad looks like this. This isn't in your, your area of the country, just trying to protect some, um, some details. But Zillow exists for one reason and one reason only. That's to sell real estate agents advertising. And what they do is they take all the listings from across the country and they make up listings with make me move and they get your for sale by owners and they allow you to advertise on free so that they can sell teams of three agents. And, and in our area, there's probably 18 to 28 real estate agents that pay varying amounts of money, 400 to $2,000 a month to get the Zillow leads. And Zillow's pretty tricky how they do it. What they actually do is if a buyer was interested in your house, if they don't skip this blue contact button, and if they don't unclick the I want financing information, and if they don't click the property owner, and if they don't come back down below and unclick the financing information and contact the property owner also, you will never get that lead. That lead goes direct to one of those 28 real estate agents or two or three of them, and even more if they're using Trulia and other sites. And those agents, because they're paying, tend to be pretty good about following up. So I'm not gonna watch the whole video. Same. We're just gonna stop it now because it's four minutes. But imagine if you sent that video, by the way, I recommend if you're capable creating your own video because you're gonna be more effective than me and also you're better looking. Same shirt I think I'm wearing, <laughs> but I shaved this morning and I grow my beard really quickly. No, but imagine if you sent this video to a for sale by owner in a text link or through the Zillow email, is it gonna differentiate you from the other agents? You bet you, you bet you because I'm telling them the facts and I'm showing them how to make their ad better.
and I'm showing them how to get better response, which is they're going to be happy with. So you get the private online mastermind group. You know, so who will this course help? If you have no listings or you have double uh, dozens of listings, this will help. If you're a brand new agent looking for dependable source of listings without having to spend thousands to get them, by the way, I don't buy any Zillow leads. In my area, that zip code, $1,280 a month to get 12 to 14 buyer leads. 12 to $1,800 a month. If you're an experienced agent looking for a dependable source of listings without having to beg for the business, and what I show you is if you'd like to leverage your personal or virtual assistant so that they can more than pay for themselves, because right now I have my assistant, nice guy by the name of Josh, he's doing the initial email, entering the information into the database before I come into the office each day. So he's saving me time beginning the process and because he then makes me call them or stay in touch with them, I'm making more money so he's paying for himself. So, you know, what would one closing a month be worth to you? Is that going to be 3000 a month, 5000 a month, 10000 a month, more? How much would you pay to get everything you need to do that? Close at least 12 deals in the next 12 months. And the cool thing about for sale by owners is there's not a lot, a lot, a lot of lead time. You can get on today and within 30 days, you should be taking for sale by owner listings. How much would that be worth to you? So you can get started now. It's one payment of $647, and you can do tinyurl.com, FISBO647, or you can go to fisbocourse.com forward slash Stacia, or you can opt for three payments of 240. And again, it comes with the money back guarantee. And here's what you're gonna get that nobody has ever gotten included with the for sale by owner course before is the next three Thursdays, the 18th, the 25th, and I believe it's May 2nd, at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna have everybody who buys this course get together, and I'm gonna have it actually implemented the course. I will go through week by week what I would do if I was starting with the course. Now, of course, you can use the course and get going faster than that, and we're gonna partner you up and hold each other accountable. And I will actually call on your behalf during these situations or during these se sessions, and I'll show you how I'm able to get appointments on your behalf. So if, if Todd Schroep was on the call, I would, I would call up, you know, we'd look up some for sale by owners. I'd show you how I find them. I'd show you what I use Wise Agent as a database, how we put it in and then how I call and text them. And I'll actually say, hey, it's Mike Stott. I'm the personal assistant for Todd. And he saw your ad on Zillow. And he'd really like to stop by to see the house if you're offering a commission to the real estate agent that brings you a buyer. They say yes, and we say, great. Todd has some availability tomorrow at 2 or Saturday at 9, which works better for you. And I promise you, I will be able to get an appointment with three or four um, conversations for everybody that's on the course. Normally this course costs an extra $500. I've included it at the 647. If you've already bought the FISBO course, you can get into the FISBO intensive for the deeply discounted price of $150. I want to have 25 to 30 people taking the FISBO intensive this time. Just email me at mike.stott at mac.com if you want to get into this. Now, I will have to say Infusionsoft, which is my billing software company, is having problems the last three days. If you're having any problems getting into pay for the course, just email me or email my assistant and I'll put it into the chat. Well, I can't see the chat, where did it go? <laughs> I buried it somewhere. Oh, here's the chat. You can email my, my assistant, Kayla. Let me get her email address for you and we will get you into the course. Um, and I don't know why Infusionsoft, it was supposed to be fixed yesterday, it's still not fixed. And sometimes when people are trying to, to get in, it's just giving them a blank field. So if you experience that, just go ahead, email me at mike.stott.mac.com or email Kayla, my assistant, at k.corvino2019 at gmail.com. We'll get you in.
Um, so the options again are, you know, you have the 30 day guarantee. It's a one time charge once only $647 or three payments of $240. If you already own the course and you want to get into FISBO um, intensive, which are the next three Thursdays, the 18th, the 25th and the second, by the way, they'll be recorded also with the idea that we're going to keep tracking your numbers. You're going to be reporting every day. It's going to be, you know, not a boot camp because it's more fun than that, but it's going to be serious. No crap. You need to make this work for yourself. We're going to get you working in the next 30 days and making some money. So another testimonial, Ryan Smith, I viewed a FISBO over two years ago when I first moved to the area, he was selling a 350 condo privately. He sold it on his own, but we stayed in contact. And two years later, he called me to list his 520 home, is leasing a property for a year, then buying a $900,000 house. I'd like those all day long. Get started now. Go to fizbocourse.com forward slash Stacia. Tracy Lester said, I can testify that it works. I've listed five properties since taking the class, and the lowest listing I've taken is 370. This has been a major game changer for me. By the way, Tracy Lester is in Atlanta. She's in my area. I don't mind the competition, and in fact, it's so big, I've never competed against her. And Mike Cribben, this is my favorite testimonial of all time, says, I'm not setting the world on fire with this class, but it has changed the way we do some business. The email signature is a great idea. By the way, we show you how to do email signatures in Gmail or the Mac mail. I used to send letters to apartments that expired to $1,200 to $1,500 a month. At about a dollar each, that gets expensive. I started using Spokio to find email addresses and started sending emails instead using your method. Two weeks ago, I only mailed 240 and sent 60 emails. Letters gave me 11 response and the emails gave me 21 responses. Thanks for that tip. By the way, I've sent the 39 FISBOs and have had seven appointments, got five listings. One is already sold and closed. It's a cash deal. One more is under contract. Class has great ideas at work, but he's not setting the world on fire, everybody. First month, he just took five listings. Get started now, and I'm going to go back. If you don't go to stacia.com, uh, fizzbowcoursestacia.com, I wanted to end on this, which shows the payment options. And again, if you want to take just the FISBO intensive because you've already bought the course, contact me directly at mike.stottatmac.com. Any questions, comments, concerns, illusions, delusions? And Mike says, how does Stacia fit in here? She fits in because she's exposed this to her list of you know, 5,000 real estate agents or so. So hopefully we have some of them buying it and she's marketed it to them. And I, for, for some of you, you've just sort of piggybacked along because you've been a, a member of the group for a long time. Any other questions, Stacia? what do you think? This is amazing. I have been in the real estate industry for a long time. And um, actually, um, you know, <laughs> you know, my mentor, he's actually a, a real estate coach. And you guys, this is, this is huge. The, the um, guys that I work with, they pay thousands of dollars for coaching per month. So for you to get this kind of attention is amazing. Yeah, it's one payment only. The other thing I'll do is I, I do have um, what's called the Tuesday Coaches In, and beyond the FISBO Intensive, for another three months, I'll let you come to the Tuesday Coaches In, which is a webinar. I hold it on Tuesdays at 11 Eastern Standard Time. You can call in and ask me any real estate related question you want. Doesn't have to be FISBO related. You can ask me any question you want. I have some weird answers for, you know, people ask me, what should I eat for lunch today? Mexican. Okay, it's whatever. I, I will give you an answer. You may not agree, but that's okay. So here's, here's what I want to end with today, guys. It's a good course. What have you got to lose? You can try it out for 30 days, no risk. I'll refund your 647. If you don't like it, I'll refund it. No questions asked. Go ahead and sign up. Go to FISBO, you know, tinyurl.com, FISBO-647. Or if you want to pay it over three months, do FISBO course 240 three times, or you can find the same links at FISBOcourse.com forward slash Stacia. For those of you that are watching this on Facebook, 
or you're watching the replays or you know we send it out to you again if you have any questions my cell phone number is 678-232-0927 i will return calls i am fairly busy so i might not get to you right away but i will return the call i promise there we go i have one really quick question um because i know a lot of people who um are actually real estate investors that are looking for fizzbos but they also have the real estate aid you know license right what, what would you what would you say to those people who might use this course to be able to find houses to flip it will teach you how to get involved with the for sale by owner in a manner that's different than any other investor is doing so I mean, just the tip on how to make their Zillow ad more effective, they're gonna love you for it. Because here's what I tell them, and I didn't tell you guys this, but I, you guys, have, you're on at the end, so you guys are great, <laughs> is at the end of that little FISBO video or when I'm talking to them, I say, hey, look, in order to avoid it, in the first line of your ad on Zillow, say for best information and easiest showing, contact the owner directly set up a Gmail account with just your property address or give them your phone number. And they're going to about half of the people will skip the agent and call you directly. You're going to be more likely to sell the house on your own. They love that tip so much. And it gets me back um, again and again and again, it lets me call them. And then I'm going to teach you one last technique. It's called the I owe you a favor. So at the end of the conversation, if you, if you're talking to them, you can say, look, you've been so, whatever it is, honest, brutally honest, obnoxious, whatever it is, so helpful today, I owe you a favor. So if you ever have any questions, if you need any forms, just let me know and I'll be happy to repay that favor. Now that allows you to next week call them back and say, hey, did you want to cash in that favor? Just a really neat little technique to do. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Mike. This is uh, awesome. I've gotten to look into the course too. And uh, I mean, the value is just, uh, there's, I mean, this is 10 times the value here, guys. So get in right now. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all of your successes. I, I know you, you mentioned your client is, you know, I mean, it's not mind blowing stuff or he's not changed. He's, I mean, some of the people that I work with, they just want one deal a day. This is actually uh, would be life changing for them to just have one um, one deal a month. I'm sorry, not one deal a day. <laughs> one deal a, a month would be life changing well, for them. The average agent does under eight transactions a year. If you look at all the reports of Keller Williams and Remax and everybody else, that when you add all the large franchises, it's about eight and a half transactions per agent per year. So even if you're really good and you're triple that, you're at 25. You know, you're, you're winning awards at 25. If you could bump that up to 36, you're changing your life. And I know that, and I respect that. And I promise you, everything we teach comes from contribution. Everything we teach comes from a spirit of, of generosity. And you get a lot of thanks when you're coming from that contribution and that intention rather than I need a deal. So think about it. Oh, yeah. That's what I really love about it too, because um, that's been uh, ingrained in me too with my mentors. It's all about college, coming from contribution. You guys are the best. Call me with any questions. Let me know and we'll be in touch. Thank you all, everybody. Thanks again. Bye-bye.